This is UNAIDS. Recent reports of an HIV cure from a group of scientists in Oxford have been widely reported and I think we need to take stock a little bit because I think that announcements that come too early can actually cause a lot of false hope amongst people living with HIV. So it's quite clear that these announcements were made before the results of the trial had been produced. Nonetheless, much science is going on at the moment in many countries in a focused way to try to achieve a cure for HIV. The, the challenge of HIV cure is that we know that HIV hides deep within reservoirs within the body and when treatment is stopped HIV comes back from these reservoirs and rises again into the blood and continues to cause problems. So we have got the examples of the Mississippi baby and of other people who'd been treated with antiretrovirals and when they stopped their antiretrovirals the virus didn't recur for several months or even years. Nonetheless, it came back in the end. So defining when someone is truly cured will always be difficult and requires tests that we don't yet have easily available. HIV tests have been developed since the beginning of the HIV epidemic. The first tests looked for antibodies in the blood to tell who was infected with HIV. And these have now been developed into the rapid tests that we're all familiar with, which are used to diagnose somebody living with HIV. Once people start treatment for HIV with antiretroviral drugs, we're more interested in whether the virus is still present in their blood. And so we try to use viral load tests that actually measure the virus directly in the blood. And indeed, people who start antiretroviral treatment early and have been on it for a long time may actually have a very weak antibody test and weak antibody levels. And as a result, the rapid test might even become negative despite the fact that they are still infected with HIV and suppressed on antiretroviral drugs. For tests of cure, it's even more difficult because now we're looking for HIV that is lurking within reservoirs within the body in resting cells and not directly available in the blood. So specialised laboratories are able to do tests that look for the genetic material of the virus deep within reservoir cells. This may even mean taking biopsies from the gut, from lymph nodes, even from the brain to be able to be certain that there's no virus still there. And that's the reason that most HIV cure researchers prefer to follow people up without antiretrovirals and see whether the virus rebounds and comes back into the circulation because it's less invasive. But that of course means that you don't know if somebody's cured for years after they might have been.